What's up, guys? We're back. So, we're talking about a different topic than usual. Um, shame. Now, shame is something that all of us deal with to some degree, and all of us, I think, consider to be a bad thing, something we don't want in our lives. Um, we all have stuff that we're ashamed of, whether it's you know, skeletons in our closet, little habits, things we did. Um, you know, a lot of people, when it comes to sex, for instance, have a lot of shame. Um, and it gets all buried down within them. And what, of course, happens is that this shame, once it's been pushed down, seeks a way of coming out. So, for instance, when it comes to stuff like porn, porn tends to prey on people who are more overtly good, right? More overtly moralistic because for these individuals, um, they're compensating for this unconscious issue, this, this sort of sin that they're ashamed of. And so on the surface, they have to make themselves look good while this bad stuff is going on underneath on the bottom. Just an example. You can be ashamed of a lot of different stuff. So shame is considered to be a bad thing and people want to get rid of their shame. Let's how do we how do we do it? How do we get rid of it? Well, you get rid of your shame by talking about it and by being open about it and by being willing to face the consequences of other people hearing it. I'm not saying you have to tell the world about it, but usually having somebody who you feel safe with, you can share something that is painful for you that makes you ashamed that can be extraordinarily powerful extraordinarily powerful for helping to break that shame control over you but this is something that i don't think people quite understand the people want to want to get rid of their shame because it's holding them back but what people don't realize is that shame is actually the thing that propels them forward let me explain. I don't mean that you should, that holding on to your shame is something that you want to do. What I mean is when you do address the shame, the shame becomes the launch pad for your life to completely transform. Because so much of your energy was being held back by it. So much of you was constricted by it because shame is a constricting emotion. It causes you to close up. In the levels of consciousness, shame is at the very bottom. Shame is just above death, which is why in a lot of cultures, being shamed from the group was the equivalent of death. There's a lot of overlaps here. So... When you release your shame, when you allow yourself to be rejected, when you decide to face it and overcome it, that can be what transforms your entire life. That can be what pushes you to a new level of power and success. And what happens is you use the very thing that was holding you back can, can then become the thing that makes you a leader. So it can be the thing that before constricted, you can then make yourself a leader. And I'll give a really great example of this, which is um, one of my friends, King David, who's quit porn strategist. And one of the things about him is that he talks about porn. He talks about it openly. This is something that guys really, really struggle to even acknowledge that they use or they'll diminish it. But he talks about it openly and he talks about it shamelessly. It was something that he had buried for a long period of time. And because it was something he buried, it was also something that other people buried. But by coming out and speaking to it, what's happened is that he's really skyrocketed in his value and his importance because he can speak to what everybody else is keeping hidden. And this is a good idea. This is a good way in general for you to rise, for you to become more impressive, for you to reach your full potential, there needs to be some degree of you being able to speak to your shame 
which is a shame that other people have. When it comes to guruship in particular, you know, this this profession, everybody wants, you know, you have this perception that you need to have a perfect relationship if you're going to be a relationship coach, right? Everything has to be perfect. You have to maintain this image. And this is a lot of the world that we've been brought up in. But the reality is the vulnerability is so powerful and actually draws people to you. Because when you're vulnerable about something that occurred to you, when you're open about it, then what you're actually doing is you're giving other people permission to be open. You're killing their shame. And so you're transforming them and you're putting yourself in a leadership position. So if you have something you're ashamed of, don't view it as a liability. I mean, it is a liability, but but think of it more expansively. Realize that that thing that you're ashamed of is also the key. If you're if you're stuck, if you start a business, if you're trying to do something and, you, and you're blocked, what are you burying? Because that may be the very thing that you need to speak to, you need to address, that will open up things across the board and that will make other people feel comfortable looking to you as a leader. More practically speaking for the topic of this channel, relationships. If you're in a relationship with a woman and you have all this internalized shame, good fucking luck having good intimacy. Good luck connecting with her. Good luck having a great sex life. Your own shame is causing a constriction in the relationship. And she herself, who has her own shame, the things that she doesn't want to tell you, she's afraid to admit, like maybe that she doesn't feel, let's talk sex for a second. Maybe you're ashamed of your own performance. Maybe she doesn't feel good about how you feel about her in bed. Maybe she doesn't feel good about how she looks. Maybe she feels like she's letting you down. Your own shame may make you think that you're not being a good lover, whereas her own shame is making her think that she's not being a good lover. But if you're too afraid to address your shame, then what happens is that she and you both stay at this constricted level of intimacy where things are awkward and more, and more um, mechanical. But only by speaking to it to the dynamic and being open about your own shame, do you start to raise that up? Do you start to release the amount of shame in the relationship? And that's where intimacy starts to, starts to happen. That's when the two of you start to come together. And that's when you start to become a leader in the relationship. This is why guys who are so authentic tend to do well with women. Because if you're authentic, authenticity is implicitly shamelessness. Because if you're being yourself, that means you're not ashamed of yourself. You're willing to show yourself and be rejected. And so authenticity is contagious. Authentic people create more authentic people because to connect with the authentic person, you're going to have to get rid of your shame. So if you want connection, you're going to have to meet that person where they're at. But if you don't, fake people create more fake people. A lot of kids who were bullied on the playground were the only authentic ones. It's a crappy thing, crappy realization. But a lot of kids who were bullied, they were authentic and everybody else was trying to be fake. And at that time period, the authentic person didn't have enough sense of self to be able to resist that and flip the energy dynamic. You can do that very much, much more easily when you're older. Because shame does not have a lot of strength. Shame can only have numbers, which is why they do public shaming today to keep people from speaking the truth using public shaming tactics. They have to use numbers because the power and energy of one person who is speaking the truth shamelessly is so much greater than hundreds or thousands of people who are too afraid to say anything at all. Because that truth starts to reverberate among the consciousness. In your relationship, though, this is the main thing. This is the main thing, is that the more you keep hidden within your relationship, the more constricted your relationship is going to be. So if you're ashamed of something 
in your relationship is good, but it's not where it should be. The way to get to the next level in your relationship is going to be to deal with that shame. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. You don't even understand to what degree it's blocking things. So anyway, guys, if you like this video, like the, like the video, click the like button, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you have not already, leave a comment below. I appreciate you all. Be shameless. See you next time.